Greetings and welcome to Newsdom TV. I am Mapanaka Masenya. My story is making the headlines. Mary Skov set allegations of attempting to kill VP Chiwenga. In business, first capital bank in post ICT systems migration stabilization from Barclays Bank. In sports, Musuna's possible destination in January revealed. Now for the news in detail. Mary Chiwenga, the wife of Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, who is in remand prison, facing charges of attempting to murder her husband, is said the charges are mockery and fabricated to destroy her life. She made the claims today while applying for bail application at the High Court. She was remanded in custody Monday, facing attempted murder, money laundering and externalization charges. Mary denied the allegations and dared the state to bring evidence incriminating her. Through her lawyers, Mary also complained of poor health and submitted that her doctor has confirmed that she was unable to stand trial and should be admitted in hospital. Her bail application is, however, yet to be set down for hearing. The Youth Assembly of the MDC Alliance has issued a stern warning to ruling partisan PF youths to desist from wearing the main opposition party's regalia. The warning comes after a group of 10 suspected ZANU-PF youths wearing MDC Alliance t-shirts disrupted the launch of a book, Excel Gate, written by exiled former cabinet minister Jonathan Moyo at the Sapers Trust on Tuesday evening. In a statement issued Wednesday, the MDC Alliance youths condemned the rowdy behavior exhibited by the suspected ZANU-PF youths and labeled them terrorists. Citizens must not blame ZANU-PF or President Emerson Mnangagwa when the courts orders the release of arrested corrupt high-profile people from remand prison, the ruling party's national commissar Victor Matemadanda has said. Matemadanda was responding to an outcry from the citizens on what has now been termed catch and release of some high-profile people in an interview with NewZimbabwe.com. Instead, Matemadanda said the general populace should blame the law and not the executive. Maybe what we may want to blame on that is uh, the law that we are using, the Roman and Dutch law. Um, uh, it is very clear uh, an accused is... Uh, uh, presumed guilty only after having been sentenced by a competent officer of law. And uh, for the catch and release, that is uh, a human right, it is a constitutional right that uh, uh, a person is allowed bail uh, pending um, uh, uh, the finalization or trying of, of, of cases that they will have been alleged to have committed. In the courts, Joanne Masuwa Echishan Apostolic Sect leader Ishmael Chokrongerwa, popularly known as Matsubaba Ishmael, has dragged the land's ministry to the High Court after his farm was invaded by people also issued with the government for the same land. Chokurongerwa made the headlines back in 2015 after he teamed up with his congregants to bash police officers who had visited his shrine in Budiriro to carry out some investigations. He was convicted of a public violence and was jailed for five years in April 2015. Matsubaba is suing Adelaide Klabi and G. Mutingwende for invading his land. He cited the Ministry of Lands as the third respondent. In business, First Capital Bank has completed the migration of information communication technology systems from Barclays Bank and is now addressing post-migration problems, the bank's company secretary, Violet Mutandwa, has said. The development comes after the British-owned Barclays Bank sold its 43% stake for about $40 million to First Merchant Bank Capital Holdings, which runs FCB as part of its divestiture from African operations. In a recent trading update presented Tuesday, Mutandwa said FCB has successfully completed the migration process. We end with sports. Knowledge Musona has for a long time now been linked with a move away from Underlet and a transfer could finally be done in January. The 29-year-old Zimbabwean striker failed to command a place in the first team since his arrival in 2018 and is now featuring in the club's developmental side regularly. According to reports in Belgium, Musona might join St. Trudens 
a club which was reportedly interested in him in the pre-season. The move, however, would not be a loan transfer as what the club wanted before is to recoup their investments in the player. Reporting for newszimbabwe.com, I am Makano Kamasingama. For this and more stories, visit our website www.newszimbabwe.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Newsim TV.